Good to go. Good to go, mate. Had some lunch. Oh, hang on, I'll throw this shovel. What are you doing? Don't need that. Uh, <laughs> what was that for? So it's after lunch session. Yeah. And I might try. Well, we've given this little tea to a run. I'll tell you what. With a trumpet. That surprised me. Actually. That, yeah, I, I, I didn't agree. Think, but shit, I'll tell you what. First time we used it. It, uh, what, two fox Australian? It's always good to see you use a little bit of hand control when you blow. Well, I'll put it this way, I had my hand wrap right around it, tight. Tight, and I've just let it off. Right what are you doing? I'm off. I've got to try my new reed, look. <laughs> There's a fox in that, I can see it. Righto, let's go. over here and then get up above to the right there uh, and just pick our spots where we can sort of see down into those gullies. Hey, that little whistle worked all right mate. Hey, I kid you not, he was quite interested. He was only looking because he had open ground to search but he was onto us. Thing, this little trumpet thing, mate. I've, I haven't had enough time to get the camera on them. They've been coming in that quick. Uh, he come in from typical from the spot we didn't want him to come in from. He's come in from where we couldn't see. It was an easy shotgun distance, but obviously we've just got the rifle today. But uh, he made the mistake of dropping down and then coming out to the left. So I gave another couple of puffs on that little uh, whistle, mate. It kept him interested and. Um, yeah, he's uh, now paid the ultimate price. Have you seen a fox yet? I've almost got it to my mouth. I thought we'd have a fox by now. <laughs> he, should, he should anticipate what's about to happen. He'll do it. How far away was he? I don't know, I'll range him for you. Righto. One, two, three, four. It's a vixen too. Another vixen. Mate, that was... What can you say? The foxes have been on today. They have. They yeah? have been on. Um, I probably yeah. said it in this, this morning, but uh, Paul from uh, Fox 
callscom sent us these array of different whistles, different callers. And normally with these sort of things, I'm thinking, oh, you can't reinvent the wheel. But I must admit, this little T2, I think it's called T2, yeah. um, really surprised me today. Uh, as far as the Tenterville side of it, it's pretty much as good as the ones we use. It's loud, yeah. very similar yeah, tone, no, it's and it's good, really yeah. only up to the, the guy using it or the person using it that really get the best out of it. But what sort of blew me away and, and brought in those foxes today was this little trumpet thing. The little vixens, mate, I reckon, straight out of the den. They they, yeah. uh, they certainly heard distress and, somewhere and in that call. I don't know how. And but. normally, <coughs> when they're welcoming like that, there's no way known that you'll get them out. But they come in, and probably 90% of the foxes we shot today were vixens. Yeah. And much. they were coming in pretty hard at um, yeah. most of the time. So Maybe just the right time of year, and that just worked well. But it, it did work today. Well, put it way. It's not like we didn't try the other one. Well, I only tried this one really, never took my own tenor field, but um, yeah, this thing was pretty much what I used all day. Uh, yellow T2, uh, definitely worth a look, and I think I'll be using this a little bit more often because no, it actually good. does give you like two in one, uh, and for some reason, I don't even know what it simulates this thing, but it's, it's very, like, Obviously holding it in your hand and sort of cupping it in your hand you can sort of change the tone a little bit as well and how much volume and maybe it sounded like a fox pup in distress. I think it, so. It definitely brought yeah. the um, the mothers, yeah. the females, the vixens straight out and they were out within seconds. They were, they were right onto it. So it caught me off guard <coughs> a lot of times with the camera so mm. yeah definitely worth a look. Get on to Paul. Um, Thanks again, mate. I, look, yeah. I, I thought to myself, oh yeah, we'll give these a go and just go back to our tenor field. But yeah, this this is actually that's a good addition to the arsenal. There's yeah. no doubt about that. And we always say that. It's, look, it's not one call is the bee's knees. Uh, you need to have a variety of calls because some days certain things work and other things don't. And then you can go back the next day and it's totally the reverse. Exactly. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's no wonder caller, but this is definitely worth looking at. Um, yeah, so thanks again, mate. I'll, I'll be mm -hmm. holding on to this one.